Hi, I'm Laura Amelia Bell. I was the lover. I was the sixth in line in the family. My mum and dad had nine children, six boys and three girls. Um, not very familiar, but I remember them telling me we used to live on the mission when I was a baby and I was only six months old. And as far as I know, then from Milltown out to Greenville, that's where we lived. Um, that's when Dad come back from the First World War and he signed up for the Second World War. Yeah, I'd be about 10. Might, mightn't have been that. Might have been a bit younger when they went to war, the Second World War. Yeah, but the one Dad, when he was discharged from the First World War, it was interesting to see how he did and what he did and how he he coped with it and you know they didn't have an easy life overseas you know and, and they all come home which is a great like the five brothers went over there and all come home and then all in, signed up for the next second world war you know yeah his name is Frederick Amos Love it and he was a corporal I think when he finished war yeah from a private up to a corporal it's a recognition to what, you know, what they done. But I said, <laughs> don't recognise us, compensate for what we've lost. That's, you know, it's all very well saying how good they were, but they, they weren't treated right. You know, you go to war, you come back as a mate, you get treated like a mate. You know, and they used to always come into the RSL monthly meetings and that, and. Uh, They'd walk in and walk home for hay, but no one, no one had vehicles then, and not many offered them a ride home and that, you know. And um, I can remember they were barred from the hotels, and and we were in town there one day. I thought my oh, dad and I were standing in the corner and that, and yeah, and they weren't allowed in the hotel in Hayward. Yeah, and when it was after good, they come back, back from the war, yeah, yeah, it was good enough for all the, you know, over there fighting together, but. When they come home, they, you know, he wasn't allowed to do this. Another thing that was uh, uh, wrong, done wrong by him was their Soldier Settlement Act, you know. They weren't allowed to have so Soldier Settlement. Like Uncle Herb applied for it and he was knocked back. You know, when the other white fellas, you know, they come back, they got the, the Soldier Settlement. And we had this um, family living on the mission with was through soldier settlement he got the house on the mission and uh, when they um, we got our land money like our land back the you know for, for what we wanted and anyway he got removed off the mission this fella and they were all saying oh poor fella he's got moved off you know and I said yeah I said big deal but he's gone with a pocket full of money hasn't he we got nothing and that we're still fighting for what what should be right you know we should have the settlement there but yeah but i think our people like my dad and that they're real strong people you know they believed in what they were doing they believed in themselves and i think they instilled us into our community what is today and we still sort of carry on that that uh, sort of tradition how they fought and and I think we're still fighting, but I think things are a lot better. You know, they were like any other soldier who come home. I think my dad never talked about the war. He never talked about the war. And um, very rarely they did, and that. And even when George went to the second, the Korean War, he never came home talking about it. You know? I mean, they went through some horrific times. Like my dad. Even though they went through hell, you can say to hell and back, but they come back strong. They still worked. They still provided for their families. So yeah, it did. It did change my dad, but not to where he was a violent man. But it it, it affected their their lives. The war being over there, and at that time, they done it tough. Not now. I mean they. Were, had horses and you know that's a canary got tanks and things but they didn't they they um they lived a tough life over there but they succeeded in what they went for they come back heroes and they anyhow.